Well, it's loud, it's proud, and this is distinctly Orlando City. The wall, the first ever standing supporter section ever in a major league soccer stadium with almost 4,000 of the team's most passionate fans. Now, MLS versus World Cup qualifying, <laughs> two very different types of intensities. Just how dynamic Clint can be tonight will be a question mark. But Josie Altador was beaming talking about having Clint back. He missed having that strike partner up top, but he also also said Clint brings a new energy to this group right now. He's a fun guy. He makes jokes, but he's an American warrior. He knows what it means to win for his country, and that inspires guys at a very pivotal point. The famous turnover chain, it's pretty heavy. It's the brainchild of defensive coordinator Manny Diaz, who wanted to inspire and create something for his team when they create turnovers that was distinctly Miami. He's from the city. His father's the former mayor. He said this Cuban link screams Miami. So he took this to AJ the jeweler, who makes pieces for all the big time rappers LeBron James Floyd Mayweather then surprised to see him with it before the opening game needless to say it was a hit another big question is how the matchups go because Ryan Kessler has been so good at just shutting down Connor McDavid he didn't have a single point in that 7-1 route but Leon Dreisaitl he had five points mm -hmm. and Ryan Getzlaff was matched up against him so we might see a little change there although you'd be playing with fire but the biggest thing I heard today is that the Ducks need to have a quick start because in those last four game sevens they never led for a single second the oh. opposing team always scored first in the first six minutes. Keep an eye out for the fast start tonight. Nashville awaits the winner. The loser gets a hard night of drinking. Julie Stewart Binks. That's not that bad. <laughs> Everybody's a winner that way, right? After they exercise those demons of last night, there is so much emotion. There's so much confidence. It's almost like lightning in a bottle where you want to carry that right into the next series. And for the Ducks, that helps because they only had one day in between series, which is almost uh, ridiculous yeah. when you think about it because the Predators have had so much time off. Now the U.S. attack will also have Josie Altador available for tonight's game. He missed the friendly against Venezuela attending his brother's wedding in Ireland. He leads the U.S. all time in scoring against the Soka Warriors with five goals. Tony. It's cold. It's snowing. <laughs> it's March in Minnesota. So I had the chance to ask Darius guys what changed from being ruled out on Wednesday to them practicing with the first team on Thursday and then being ruled in for this game. He said sometimes your body body feels better at the end of the week than it does the beginning of the week. This is football and I'm ready to go. Coach Ogeron told us I want to manage guys to around 20 to 25 plays tonight, but said he's the type of guy when you put him in, he does not want to come out. Welcome back. Miami leading 17 to 6 over Duke in the third quarter. I'm now joined by Corn Elder, current Carolina Panther, former Miami Hurricane. The last time you were here, it was a very special moment, that infamous eight lateral play that you scored the touchdown. What's your lasting memory from that? Uh, just greatness. Well, guys, Marshall players told me what's different this season is a sense of togetherness and leadership, which has been inspired through strength coach Luke Day and his mantra, we are, I am. That began in the offseason through team building activities, extends now to day giving players a score every week based on toughness, accountability, and performance. He said, if you're below 85%, your name goes on a loser board. Not trying to single anyone out, but it goes a long way to changing behavior. Well, I noticed that Cole Kelly was limping during initial warm-ups. He was having issues putting weight on that right toe. Evidently, Austin Allen is the healthier of the two. I spoke with him this week. He said it feels like a second life to be back in this position, that when he was on the sideline, he realized how much he loved football. It's a privilege being here. He didn't know if he was going to get it back. He said, though, he had to relearn how to throw the football just due to the nature of injury he still feels a bit of pain but it's limited coach congratulations you told me at halftime you wanted to see a better performance on both sides of the ball what impressed you most in the second half the way we ran the ball the way we threw the ball i spoke with josh williams who told me if he wasn't on this field playing for the columbus crew tonight he would be up in these stands showing support for the team and for the city he said i have been an ohio kid forever i have grown up supporting this club for 10 years tonight is all about showing pride for this city he said i want people to recognize the players on the field stand with the fans clint congratulations we see you really enjoying this moment with your family with the fans i know you weren't able to be a part of it last season what does it mean to experience this now oh it's great i mean it's great for the city well thank you so much max now the biggest difference with the conditions this year is that the field is in much better shape last year it was a quick turnaround after hosting gray cup there was sand and spray paint filling in the holes but i spoke with the groundskeeper who said there's absolutely no extra sand on the pitch the conditions are 80 percent better than they were last year even brian schmetzer gave it his seal of approval to the media yesterday you 
mentioned that it's 34 degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels closer to 20 degrees because we're right on Lake Ontario. We could expect to see some flurries over the next two hours. Now, with these conditions, Stefan Fry, who dealt with them last year, said he went to the league, asked if he could wear a neck warmer, wear a beanie, wear earmuffs. He was denied on all three of those. So he's bringing back a technique he developed at halftime of MLS Cup last year, which was putting hand warmers in a towel, then putting that towel by his post. He said he put it up to his face when there were stoppages of play. He said it was very difficult to speak to his back line because he was so cold. Now Alex Bono is wearing surgical gloves underneath his goalie gloves to help keep that heat 